Hey, what's going on, CoinOp TV subscribers? Robert Welkner here. And in this video, I want to break down the Arrow video announcement for Shaw Brothers Shaw Scope Volume 3. It's coming. It's got a lot of movies that I'm very excited about. It's got a bunch of movies I've never seen before that I'm excited about. And um, I'm just excited overall because uh, the um, rumors were that uh, Shaw Scope Volume 3 was going to be genre films, horror films, maybe some mobster, games, gangster, contemporary films. But no, they're going to drop us some more kung fu and wuxia films. Clearly, Arrow video team members have been reading my tweets and social media posts and the things that I wanted to see in this box set are, are there or are, are mostly there and that that's what I'm very excited about. I mean let's let's talk about the movies here. Let's break things down. We got 14 movies. I'm going to rattle off the names of the movies and then uh, we're going to sort of talk about them a little bit individually. So bear with me um, as I as I go through these. So 14 films we get the One Armed Swordsman trilogy. So that's three films right there. Lady Hermit, uh, Intimate Confessions of a Chinese Quartician. Haven't seen or heard that before. The 14 Amazons, The Magic Blade, Clans of Intrigue, Jade, of, uh, Jade Tiger, The Sentimental Swordsman, Killer Constable, The Avenging Eagle, a fantastic film, Buddha's Palm, and Bastard Swordsman. Did I get that all there? Yes, I think I, I didn't miss anything. Did I say the magic plate? Okay, I'm jumping around. But uh, let's go through each one of these individually. So we'll start off with the One-Armed Swordsman. Fantastic movie, Jimmy Wang Yu, Chang Che. Uh, just groundbreaking from 1967. Kind of really put a lot of these elements on the map. I mean, as far as I'm concerned, that's one of the better Wang Yu films out there. And then... Um, not to be outdone, but the second movie, Return of the One-Armed Swordsman from 1969, I think might even be a better movie. It definitely has more action to it, um, maybe a little less um, romance or substance there, but definitely more action-packed. And then the third one in that trilogy is The One-Armed Swordsman, which is from 1976, which is uh, directed by, seems to be co-directed by David Chang and Jimmy Wang Yu. This also stars David Chang and Jimmy Wang Yu. Um, I, had, I haven't seen this one. I see that uh, Lole is in this, uh, Yang Yi, a bunch of the all-stars from the Shaw Brothers um, acting troupe there. So uh, that will be a first time watch for me. The Lady Hermit, I have not seen this. This is Ho Meng, uh, director Ho Meng Hua, directed the um, Killer Dart, the Flying Guillotine movies. Um, this says 1971 has a pretty good high rating on IMDb 7.2, so uh, that's cool. Let's see who's in it. Lole, Chang Pei Pei, the early uh, female heroine uh, out there in the Shaw Brothers movie iconic uh, films there, so that's cool. Let's see. Intimate Confessions of a Chinese Courtesan. This is from 1972. I've never heard of this. I've never seen it. Has a pretty good rating on IMDb 7.1. This is uh, so. So now we now we're getting into the the core young movies. Choi Young, Core Young, um, and this is one thing that Arrow did tweet when he passed away was um, that they they felt that uh, they made a mistake or they didn't include any Core Young movies in Shaw Brothers, um, Shaw Scope Volume One or Two. So uh, we're getting a lot of. Cor Young uh, movies in here, uh, which is good or bad. If you're a big fan of Cor Young, that's great. I'm a little bit on the fence. I like his visual style. I like uh, the design and the art, artistic aesthetic, but sometimes I just get a little lost in the story. So we'll see. Um, I haven't seen this one, in Intimate Conventions of a Chinese Courtesan. Let's see who's in this. Uh, Lily Ho, um, Huo Ya. I'm not sure I'm pronouncing any of these correctly. So some of the OGs, this is from 1972. Okay, let me move on to the next movie, The 14 Amazons. Now this I've heard of, and I've seen clips of this. I remember there's kind of a scene where a bridge is there and the female Amazons have to like make a wall, a vertical wall, and then kind of flop forward or something. I know my buddy uh, Paul is a big fan of The 14 Amazons. Um, let's see, this has two directors, Kang Cheng and Xiao Young Tung. I'm not really familiar with their names if they're very, Famous. Uh, this has 6.5 on Amazon uh, on IMDb. 14 Amazons, 1972. I'm looking at IMDb here for my my references. Um, some people in there. I don't recognize a lot of the people on the cast. Lole's in that. 
Uh, let me move on to the next one, the Magic Blade. Okay, so this one I have, this one I have a, a DVD of that I haven't watched in forever. It's one of these uh, Red Sun releases. I'm not sure how official these are, but this is also a uh, Corey Young movie. This is from 1976. It has a 7.0 on IMDb. This one I, I haven't seen for a while, but I remember that um, T. Lung's got kind of a blade that kind of spins around almost like a tonfa or something on his his wrist there. So T. Lung, Lo Li is in it, Ching Li, Ku Feng. Anything with Ku Feng is, is he's, he's the man in any movie, so that's great. Let's move on to Clans of Intrigue. This one I have seen, I don't own, um, but it'll be great to sort of check out, um, you know, remastered version. Uh, this is also director Ko Young. So we're getting a lot of Chor Young um, films in this. This is 1977, uh, IMDb rating of 6.9. Uh, this one has T. Lung also, uh, uh, Fei Ah, Shen Chen, um, and I have a review of this um, also on my YouTube channel if you want to check that I reviewed it so it'd be great to uh, revisit that. Jay Tiger, I haven't seen this but um, I actually saw that it was on YouTube and I was like oh let me watch it on there but now I'll just skip like the, the YouTube uh, version and watch it on the Blu-ray. Jay Tiger is also a Corey Young. This is kind of the Corey Young box set again. Uh, 1977, this is uh, IMDb gives it a, um, the ratings on there are 6.9. T. Lung, Ku Feng, Lily Li, Lo Li, uh, Hu Hyo Ya. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing some of these correctly, but uh, this has a great a great cast. Kind of looking forward to checking this out. Jay Tiger, um, Zhao embarks on a very tragic adventure with a full intrigue to avenge his father. Okay, we got a simple plot. It sounds like that'll be great to check out. The Sentimental Swordsman, this one I have seen and are reviewed on my YouTube channel on IMDb. They give it a 6.6 .6 rating from 1977. Director Corey Young, again. This one has T. Lung, Li Ching, uh, some familiar casts. So um, let me mention this. Okay, so this box set has the Sentimental Swordsman. There's also the Return of the Sen Sentimental Swordsman, which isn't in this box set, which is making me think, okay, well, if we're going to get Shaw's Cove Volume 4, are we going to get some of the sequels? The, sen the Return of the Sentimental Swordman, will that be in that? It's a little odd that they didn't put both uh, the movies together, packaged into this volume. Um, there's another movie I'll mention also with that same um, stipulation as well. So uh, another one here, Killer Constable, which I've heard and I've seen some clips. This is from 1980 and uh, IMDb ranking of 6.9. This was released on Blu-ray years ago from 80 Films. It's been out of print for a long time. It's one of these movies that I've been wanting to see. Couldn't really get my hands on it. Didn't want to pay high eBay prices. So glad to see this is in Shaw Scope Volume 3. Um, this has uh, Quan Tai Che. This is kind of like uh, Quan Tai Chen. Sorry if I'm mispronouncing again. Ku Feng. It's one of his I think his early breakout or kind of, you know, big breakout movies from what I understand. Again, I haven't seen this yet. Um, I know the story. He, he's kind of like, um, seems like kind of an anti-hero going after criminals <laughs> without remorse. I'm looking at the IMDb while I'm skimming here. Let me move on to the next movie, The Avenging Eagle. Okay, uh, my man Will said on Facebook when, when, we, when we were talking about these movies, it was like, I would just buy the box set if Avenging Eagle was in this. I uh, have... The, I love this movie so much. I have the German Blu-ray that I picked up, still sealed, because I was holding out. I was like, you know what? This has got to be an, an, an upcoming Shaw Scope set or Shout Factory collection, so I'll leave it sealed. Um, I'll toss it on the bay, let somebody else re reap the rewards as an import. If you're interested in this, let me know. Uh, maybe we'll make, make a deal. But The Avenging Eagle, top tier uh, Shaw Brothers movies. This is directed by uh, Sung Chung. This has uh, Alexander Fushang, which I'm a big fan of, T. Lung, Ku Feng, also a big fan of him. Uh, what does IMDb give this? 7.3, I feel like it should be higher than that. This was from 1978. Fantastic movie. If you're new to like Shaw Brothers and you pick up Shaw Scope Volume 3, I would just say start with Avenging Eagle and work your way into, you know, out from there. Start with like the big, the big one, right? Okay, moving on. Buddha's Palm. I've never heard of this before. Uh, this is from 1982. Director Taylor Wong. I've never heard of him as a director. On IMDb, it has a rating of 6.5. Let's see who's in this. Um, 
Oh, Cara Wei is in it. Big fan of her. I don't know how big of a part she has. Tung Shi Yi, Ang Ang Yu, Alex Mann, Lo Li is in this. Okay, well, a couple familiar faces. Um, oh, the villain from Into the Dragon is in this. Uh, Ken Shin. So that'll be sort of interesting to see him in a Shaw Brothers movie from 1982. When did Into the Dragon come out? Was that... Uh, was after Into the Dragon. I've been re-watching all my Bruce Lee movies uh, recently to prepare for the clones box set that's coming out from Severin. And uh, uh, talking about Shaw Brothers now is, is just kind of like throwing me all off. So apologies for that. So let me move on to the next movie. Okay, Bastard Swordsman from 1983. We're getting into like the later era of Shaw Brothers, 1983. This has a, a pretty high rating, rating 7.1 on IMDb. Have not seen it. This is from director uh, Chun Ku Lu. Uh, Norman Chu is in it. Tony Leo, Justin Wang, Alex Mann. I'm not recognizing a lot of these names, but I'm sure when I see their faces. Um, so again, so here's another one, Bastard Swordsman. I know that there's also a sequel to that, Return of the Bastard Swordsman. So um, will, much like Sentimental Swordsman, will we see, um, these are tongue twisters trying to say, but will we see volume four have the sequel to that. Uh, I almost feel like we should have had both those sequels lumped into this because if you watch them, it's kind of cool to watch them back to back, especially having the One Armed Swordsman trilogy all kind of jammed together. Uh, have you seen Bastard Swordsman? Will I love it? Will I like it? Master of the Silkward, Silkworm style. Okay, just that alone in the description has me interested. So um, I'll be curious to check it out. Uh, is that it? I think that's it on the list. Let me recap. Uh, 14 movies, one Armed Swordsman trilogy, so three movies there. Lady Hermit, Intimate Confessions of a Chinese Courtesan, The 14 Amazons, The Magic Blade, Clans of Intrigue, Jade Tiger, The Sentimental Swordsman, Killer Constable, The Avenging Eagle, Buddha's Palm, Bastard Swordsman. It'll have uh, familiar packaging as before to match your collection on your, your bookshelf there, your DVD Blu-ray shelf. Tons of special features, commentaries, behind the scenes stuff. Uh, I just wanna make this video kind of talking about the movies and my excitement. I will definitely be pre-ordering this day one and um, looking forward to checking it out. So let me know in the comments below what your thoughts are on some of these movies that are announced for the set. And if you're a Shaw Brothers fan, thanks so much for watching. For CoinOpTV, we will see you next time.